In this video we're going to look at the derivation of the surface area of a cone and I find that this is a fantastically simple and really quite an elegant proof. So let's start by looking at the basic problem. The problem is what is the surface area of this cone and so we've got some simple geometry here. We've got a radius of r, we've got height of h of the cone and then we've got a length l of that lateral side. So the bit that wraps around is going to be length l measured from the circumference of the bottom circle to the tip of the cone. So we'll start with the base. So the first thing that we do to find the area is to work with what's simple. So the base of that cone is simply going to be a circle and we know that circles have an area of pi r squared. So that's very straightforward. So we've attained part of the solution. We now need to think about the conical section, so the bit that's wrapping around, and work out that surface area, and that's going to be a little bit tricky. But when we imagine it this way, it starts to get a lot simpler. So let's imagine we squash a cone. So we've got a cone shape there, and we squash it down a bit more. And we squash it down even further. And then we keep squashing it, and just keep squashing and squashing until eventually you get a completely flat surface. And when you unroll it and you cut it out, you're going to get a segment of a circle. So you're going to get this shape here. And there's some more geometry. That cut length is going to be L. So you cut along L, and so obviously that's going to be L. So you can mark that on the diagram nice and simply there. So the next thing we're going to do is split it into an infinite number of triangles. So these are going to be an infinite number of right angle triangles. And you can see a little overlap that it doesn't look like it's a perfect triangle, but as those triangles get smaller and smaller and smaller, the amount that you're losing because it's not a perfect um, triangle is going to tend towards zero. So you've got an infinite number of those triangles. And we know that the area of a triangle is a half the base times its height. So the area of, say, section one is going to be a half B1 times L. And so if we keep repeating that and we have a series, so of all of those up to Bn, so we've got N um, triangle, so n being an extremely large infinite number, we get that series. We can then do some simple factorizing. So you can see that you've got half l is appearing in every single one. So you've got a half l times the sum of all of those segments b1, b2, all the way to bn. And when we think about it, that sum is actually 2 pi r. And I'll show you why. Right? The circumference of that bottom circle is going to be 2 pi r. So if you add up b1, b2 going right round that shape all the way round, that's going to sum up to the circumference. And so that's where we get 2 pi r from. So we can think of it as a half l times 2 pi r. We've replaced that series with 2 pi r. And you can see that the half and the two are going to cancel together. And so therefore, the area of this section is pi r l. So we've now got everything we need to put it together. So we know that the area of the base is pi r squared. We know that the area of the lateral cone section, so not including the base, is going to be pi r l. And simply, we take those two, add them together, so the area of the cone, that's a surface area, is going to be the pi r squared plus pi r l, and that is your final answer. So hopefully you now understand the derivation of a cone. Finally, thank you very much for watching.